What's up guys, it's Matt Collins-Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and we're talking about Planner. So Planner is a great tool by Microsoft that allows you to plan things out, so things like projects or coordination or events and things like that. Um, it's a fantastic tool that allows you to do that. Um, there's loads of great functionality I spoke about in my last video if you want to check that out. So what we're looking at today is looking at Planner and we're looking at the trigger for Planner, which is when a task is assigned to me. So I've used Planner in terms of projects before. And um, what you do is you put in a bunch of tasks that need to be completed. And if you're working in a team, you will you can then assign them to certain people so that you know who is working on what task. Um, so if, you, if you're familiar with projects, uh, project management or like, you know, any sort of um, things where you, you need to assign tasks to get a, a job done, um, this will be very familiar to you. So um, this trigger allows you to run, uh, allows you to do something after a new task has been assigned to you or a task has been assigned to you. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. Uh, I'm in a flow that I've set up and I can click on Planner, which is just here on the first row. Uh, I can also search for it in my connections there. That. Then we have three triggers. We have when a task is assigned to me, when a new task is created, or when a task is completed. So in this instance, I can choose when a task is assigned to me, and that's what we're going to look at today. And then it says there are no additional steps need. There is no additional information needed for this step. You'll be able to use the outputs in the subsequent steps. And that's fantastic. So when um, when we used when we looked at the last video of when a a, a task is assigned, when a task is created. We actually have to say um, which planner and which like group and which planner board it was um, it was from, because Power Automate doesn't know where that is. But when a task is assigned to me is a generic step because it's just uh, it can be assigned from from anywhere from either um, any board inside your organization. Um, and it'll, what it'll do is when the task is assigned to you, it'll just send you uh, you, you know you can do something from that. So what we'll do is we'll add a new step and we'll uh, create a compose action. And what we will do is we'll get some information from that step, uh, from that trigger, and we're going to use the title of the task. So we'll just put the title of the task in the compose step. So when the task is assigned to me, I want to get the I want to get the um, the, the title of that task, and that's what we're going to do. So we'll click the task, and then we'll click over to Planner, and we'll test this out. So we hit save and test. Uh, right, we'll go to Power uh, to Planner here. So I have this Power Automate plan. I have a single task that's here. Um, it's probably not assigned to anyone. You can see it doesn't say assign. Uh, there's no one, no one's name next to this. If I click on assign, and if I choose Matt Collins, I can also type a name or an email address into here as well. But uh, I can see that my name's right there, Matt Collins, my old name. Uh, my maiden name, as it were, um, I can add that in there. And now you can actually see that this says assigned. And if I go back to Planner as well, you can actually see that I've got my uh, name down there. And there's also a button where I can assign other people to this as well. So you can assign multiple, peoples to, multiple people to a plan. I've just managed to unassign that to myself. But we'll go back to Power Automate and we'll see that that flow uh, has now run successfully. So. We'll just wait for this to load. Um, I think Power Automate is having issues today as I'm recording videos uh, where the, the UI is not fully updated properly. So we'll just go back, click back, back into here, and we can see when a task is assigned to me, uh, it's triggered. And then we can see the propose action is the Power Automate task created now. And that was the name of this task. So. Um, we can we can do anything with this. So um, if new tasks are assigned to me uh, on any planner board, um, I could uh, maybe create a, an Outlook appointment to to block out fifteen minutes in my diary the next time. Uh, have a free space uh, to review that planner item. I could just have uh, an automated email sent to me. Although planner already does that, um, I could get this added to something else, or I could you know send a mobile notification. I can do a lot of things with this when this trigger happens. So it's a really useful, um, useful action, a useful trigger, sorry, um, to allow me to um, do stuff off the back of those tasks being assigned to me in Planner. And I said I use this all the time for 
uh, projects and things like that. So um, it really is useful for me to help uh, increase my productivity by knowing when these things are being assigned to me. But as always, I'd like to know what you guys think. Uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, what if you use Planner at the moment, if you use Power Automate and Planner, uh, let me know what you use it for down below. If you like this video, if you like, if you could like it and share it with people, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.